If you've been wanting to create a website or a blog without worrying about complex technical setups, then WordPress.com could be exactly what you're looking for. In today's review, I'll be walking you through everything you need to know about WordPress.com. We'll be talking about its features, pricing, pros and cons, and to figure out exactly if you need to decide whether this is the right fit for you and your website. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now, first things first, let's talk about even getting started with WordPress.com in the first place. It's incredibly straightforward. Once you sign up, you'll choose a site name, pick from a range of pre-designed themes, and then the platform will walk you through a quick intuitive setup wizard to configure basic site options, like your title, tagline, and main navigation menus. You can start with a free plan that assigns you a WordPress.com subdomain, which is great for experimenting. Then you can upgrade if you need a custom domain or advanced features. It's perfect for beginners who don't want to mess with coding or worry about setting up hosting. Now, the next big consideration is going to be design and themes. When it comes to design, WordPress.com has a huge collection of themes catering to various niches like blogging, portfolios, and small businesses. These themes are typically mobile responsive and built to work smoothly within the WordPress.com environment. Even if you're not a designer, the built-in customizer tool lets you tweak colors, fonts, and layouts to create a site that aligns with your brand image. However, you can note that deep customization options may require a higher tiered plan. So if you have a big design ambition, you're likely going to want at least the premium or business plan. Now, the next big consideration here is content management and blogging tools. One of the key reasons people use WordPress in the first place is for its blogging tools. The platform inherits WordPress's powerful content management features, allowing you to create blog posts, pages, and even schedule content ahead of time. With its clean writing interface, managing categories, tags, and media is super easy. WordPress.com also has a built-in community, so if you tag your posts right, more readers can find your content. The next consideration is going to be plugins and advanced functionality. Historically, WordPress.com has significant limitations limitations, especially on plugin usage, reserving most advanced customization for self-hosted WordPress.org users. With the business planner hire, you can install and manage plugins, making WordPress.com feel a lot more like the self-hosted version. This flexibility means that you can integrate tools for search engine optimization, e-commerce solutions, and even membership sites. Another big consideration here is e-commerce capabilities. WordPress.com's e-commerce plan is designed for small to medium-sized online storefronts, offering shopping cart functionality, payment gateway, ways and basic inventory management. While it may not be as robust as a solution as a dedicated e-commerce platform, WooCommerce or Shopify makes it easy for anyone to sell a small selection of products. You can embed amazing things like PayPal or Stripe into your checkout process and on the lower tiered plans. The e-commerce plan is where the platform truly comes into its own for online sales though. Now another big consideration is going to be site performance and security. One of the primary perks of WordPress.com is that hosting and server level security are all handled for you. You. Automatics infrastructure means that your sites benefits from built-in performance optimizations, as well as a global content delivery network, reducing page load times. Security features like firewalls, malware scanners, and spam filters keep your site safeguarded, which is a relief for more non-technical users. Search engine optimization and marketing tools are also a huge factor for WordPress. By default, WordPress.com handles basic search engine optimization standards, ensuring that your site maps and metadata are structured properly for search engines. If you're on a higher tiered plan, you can install additional search engine optimization plugins to refine your strategy and gain more granular control. Built-in tools also let you connect your site to social media accounts for auto-sharing new posts. For email marketing, integration with platforms like MailChimp or Constant Contact is possible, although you may need to upgrade plans or use specific plugins to tap into its features. Now, another big question to consider is who should use WordPress in the first place? If you're a beginner who wants convenient, low-maintenance way to launch a blog, portfolio, or small business web website, WordPress.com is a fantastic option. It removes many of the technical features and barriers that can overwhelm new site owners, letting you focus on producing content and growing your audience. If, on the other hand, you desire total design freedom, the ability to code custom solutions, or just want an integrated advanced tools without restrictions, you might eventually hit a ceiling with WordPress.com's mid-tier plans. Now that we've talked about this, let's get into the plans and pricing. The first plan we'll be looking at is the free plan. This is a great option if you're just getting started with website design, but your site will have, I will say, WordPress ads, and you won't be able to use a custom domain. It's a solid option if you have personal projects or you're just testing things. The next plan we'll be talking about is their personal plan. It's just $4 per month when you have it billed annually, and this actually removes the ads on your WordPress site and gives you a free domain for a full year. This way, your site looks more professional, and you'll have a lot more people who actually want to use it in the first place. The next plan is their premium plan, which is billed at about $8 per month. This gives you access to premium themes, advanced design controls, and the ability to 
upload videos. If you want more customization and detailed analytics, this is a pretty solid middle ground. For serious businesses and freelancers, the business plan starts at about $25 a month and it unlocks powerful features like plugin installation, priority support, and advanced search engine optimization. This is where WordPress.com starts feeling more like a self-hosted WordPress experience. And if you're building an online storefront, the commerce plan is about $45 per month. This gives you access to WooCommerce, which is basically a Shopify alternative, and optimize hosting to keep your store running smoothly. And finally, if you're an enterprise solution, you might need the top tier security plan that they have, but of course, that's gonna be very few people. Most of you, I would recommend getting started with either the premium plan or the business plan. Speaking of which, if you wanna get started for the cheapest price possible with an amazing discount, make sure you use that link down in the description. When you click that link, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. You'll then hit the get started button, which will then take you to the create an account page. Once you're on the create an account page, you wanna enter in with either an email, a Google account, an Apple account, or a GitHub account. We'll go ahead and get started with an email. I'll then hit the continue button and we'll then be presented with our pricing. You can go with any of these plans that you see here. I'm gonna go with the premium plan and hit the get premium button. That'll then take me to their checkout page. And just like that, I can get started with WordPress. Other than that though, that's pretty much it for WordPress. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this platform, if you've ever used it before, and if you're planning on using it in the future. I'd also love to know your overall thoughts. And if you wanna get started with this platform, make sure you use those links down in the description. Also remember those links are financially benefiting us. So thank you in advance for supporting more videos like this one. It really does go a long way to support us and we appreciate every single time that you guys use those links. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss a future one and I'll see you in the next one.